South Korea unveiled the KF-21 Boromai, most analysts didn't take it seriously. They should have. In just a decade, Seoul went from importing F-16 to building a fighter that rivals them and does it at half the cost. The Boromai bridges generations, not fully stealth, but stealth-shaped. Not fifth gen yet, but more advanced than any fourth. It carries a powerful AESA radar, internal sensors modeled on the F-35, and a weapon load that includes long-range air to air missiles and precision ground attack kits. But the real disruptor is economics. A single KF-21 costs a fraction of an F-35. That puts modern air power within reach of countries long priced out of it. Indonesia is already a co-developer, and others in Southeast Asia are lining up. Korean engineers designed the Boromai to evolve. Future versions will add internal bays and stealth coatings, turning it into a true fifth-generation platform. Footage from the first flight showed engineers applauding as the Boromai lifted off, a quiet moment that summed up 10 years of work. Every test flight is a statement. South Korea is no longer a junior partner, it's a producer. The Boromai has yet to see combat, but its implications are clear. In Asia's crowded skies, it gives smaller nations an alternative to superpower dependence. And while Seoul builds for self-reliance, Europe is looking far ahead into the next generation entirely.